Welcome back to Sports Night Live. Less than a minute to go at the Sports Direct Arena. 2-0 uh, Newcastle. Rainer sent off. That was funny, wasn't it? That was quite funny, actually, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah and the like substitute that. goalkeeper not getting Enrique. much of a sniff. How annoyed would you be if you were playing second fiddle to Rainer throughout the season as sub-goalkeeper? You never get a look in. And then the one time you get an opportunity that you've made all your subs. Yeah, every game you're sat there thinking, get injured, get sent off. <laughs> <laughs> Devastating blow. Uh, uh, Luke and uh, Dan and Brett have been watching the game. Uh, boys, you must be... Well, it must be thrilled ecstatic mate ecstatic it's we're about a minute away Papi Cissé again like, I don't know if you know this but Cissé had the worst debut when he played in Belgium for his what? last club I think it was Freiburg and what? he basically what missed happened? three he missed three sitters and then he scored the only goal of the game in the wrong net ah. but <laughs> since then he's been exceptional and and that's the difference between the two sides isn't it just finishing well the yeah. thing is he was second he's second goal scorer to uh, in, in Germany to Gomez isn't he Gomez, yeah. Mary Gomez, who's what? It's all over. Pound striker. That's it. Two nil to the well, time. Uh, he's brilliant. Look, look at that. Fifty-three Great stuff. points. Great that stuff. is unbelievable. Two points off a Champions League place. Let's have a look at the league table then. Uh, I mean, it's what's upsetting is that you've drawn level with us, Chelsea, uh, which is a real blow. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> it's it, like remarkable. People always said it was flash in the pan at the beginning of the season with Pardew, didn't they? Uh, and you guys weren't so sure at the beginning of this match. But no, he's he's done wonders. We were, I think we were brilliant. We were absolutely brilliant today. Yeah. Perch was absolutely superb, considering we didn't think we were going to be, he, he was going to be that good, especially when he joined us. But to see us on 53 points with seven games to go, and, and a few, may I say, like, easier games. Can I put a little bit of a spin on this, though? Go on. Can Liverpool, I know they didn't really play too well, but can they feel a little bit hard done by? Um, Danny Simpson's handball <laughs> saved the ball with his hand. Yep. Perch has got Papi Reina sent off. Yep. And Cissé scored an offside goal. When you take all that into consideration... I I'm just swings around about. Yeah, I was going to say, Alex Ferguson, I could just hear in my head going, hey, even as a self eight, uh, <laughs> of course he's even. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the, the thing I think as well, uh, Rayner, for all, I mean, I know there was no contact, but if you lower your head at a player, then you're going to go. It's, it's Simple as that. It's you can't do that. Who's the biggest villain there, though, Rayner or Perch? I, th I think... But rainer has got history. He's he's got previous. He gets a bit feisty. He gets a bit angry. And I think I don't know. Perch Perch shouldn't have left his foot in to try and chip Rainer over. But Rainer shouldn't react. But Perch knew what he was doing. But then this all is all forgotten because we've got to remember what happened to Andrew Carroll when he <laughs> his, that was the greatest dive. That was <laughs> actually <laughs> the most fun. That's the best moment apart from him going off he and being yeah. stuck. That's and the best moment of the game. And it's made us forget the Pires against Portsmouth one. No one will ever mention that. So you must be happy, Luke. Well, yeah, the, the, yeah, exactly. I mean, Pires, Pires, basically, he he runs courses, and uh, Perch should obviously went to that course. And <laughs> well, let me let me let me ask the guys a question because um, the, the the league table I'm interested in now is uh, the table that shows that if you had a pound on Newcastle in every game this year, you'd be up eleven quid now. Have you boys been cleaning up while Newcastle have had a great year, or have you not had a bet? This is an interesting question. Let's go to you. Well. I, yeah, I'm well, not happy about the information that I've received. From my this my two bets today, which I did bet against us and I bet for us today, both two <laughs> ones. This makes no sense. You bet so. two one both ways. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely no sense. That's yeah. a hard one to cheer. Well, it's well no, no, because if we lose effectively, yes, then at have. least you get emotional money. hedge. Emotional hedge. I don't buy the. I don't buy that. I think if you lose, you lose. There's no positives. No, I, I, there is a, a minor positive. I don't disagree. It, but there is, because if you've lost... You've got some grubby you got money in your pocket. So you've got a little yeah. bit of a smile on your face. Yeah, exactly. But, but, it's, but it's, 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 not, it's not good money. It's like... It's <laughs> money. It is dirty money. What it's, you it do, is, like, is you know, filthy, you dirty... Point. Well, whatever the, whatever the money is, we have to thank uh, Luke, Brett and Dan. Thank you, boys, for watching the game. Yeah, good stuff, right. boys. Thank, thank you to you. Great afternoon. Stay ahead of the game with Sports Tonight Live. Don't miss a thing. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Search for Sports Night Live on Facebook and like our fan page. Follow Sports Tonight TV on Twitter and tweet us your thoughts and opinions. Sports Tonight Live, it's the platform for the fans.